Shalom everyone from Jerusalem, eternal, exclusive, and undivided capital of the people of Israel. And at the heart of Jerusalem dwells its secret, Mount Moriah, the Temple Mounts, location of the past and future Holy Temple, the one place chosen by God on this earth to rest His presence. And it's to the direction of the Holy Temple that all hearts will be turned this Passover, as the people of Israel, the world over, celebrate the Festival of Freedom. And it is to the rebuilt Holy Temple in Jerusalem that one day, sooner or later, this Passover or next, all of Israel will stream to, to bring the Passover offering. Passover is synonymous with redemption, with the exodus, with delivery from Egyptian bondage, and the birth of the people of Israel. For 2,000 years, throughout their exile, the Jewish people have prayed to return to Jerusalem and for the renewal of the service of the Holy Temple. This is the meaning of the words with which the traditional Passover Seder is concluded, next year in Jerusalem. The time is coming when Israel will once again be able to fulfill the main commandment of Passover, the Korban Pesach, the bringing of the Passover offering. May we merit to bring this year in the rebuilt Jerusalem the Passover offering. And in the meantime, remember that the festival of Passover bequeaths to all mankind a promise of freedom from bondage and slavery of all sorts, physical and spiritual. Passover presents all people with an opportunity for acknowledging the miracles of God in our lives. Passover urges all people to strive to fulfill their greatest potential and to strive for true freedom. So don't waste this opportunity. Strive to be free. Strive to acknowledge the miracles of God in your life and take a stand for Him. That's what leaving Egypt is really all about. We wish you Chag Kasher V'Sameach blessings for a joyous and kosher Passover from the Temple Institute in Jerusalem.